HRV and weight fat loss. So HRV is heart rate variability. It's a great predictor of your central nervous system. In general terms, higher than baseline HRV means your body is currently not experiencing stress and more inclined to be parasympathetic, primed for action. Lower than baseline means your body is experiencing some stress, more inclined to be sympathetic. Everyone's baseline HRV is different. There are lots of trackers that track this from Whoop, Aura, Apple Watch, Garmin. There's also apps like Elite HRV and HRV for Training, which you can just stick your finger on the phone's camera to record your HRV. Our bodies can buffer acute stress really well and can be really beneficial to induce some stress and you will get a slight drop in HRV and then a boost. Do this enough times and you eventually get a higher HRV baseline. Things like exercising, cold shower, sauna, fasting, you know all the stuff all the cool kids are doing. Your HRV is an indicator of how you've handled the hormetic stress. Something our body doesn't like is chronic stress. This is a stress applied day after day. This can cause a drop in HRV day after day, and if you don't plan a few recovery days, this will crash your central nervous system. One of these chronic stresses is dieting. The bigger your caloric deficit, the bigger the potential stress. Other things do come into play if you have a large caloric deficit, but a high vitamin, and mineral, and protein count, I would expect to see less stress than someone with the same caloric deficit with lower value foods over the long term. Counterintuitively, sometimes low value foods can actually raise your HRV because they're so highly processed, your body can extract the carbs, protein and fat extremely easily without the need of your digestive system being stressed. If you have a device that monitors HRV, HRV, don't take my word for it and try it for yourself. Intuitively, some people have been doing cheat days since the early days of bodybuilding. There's a hormonal interplay here. The HRV just gives you a little window into what your body is doing. So if you do a run, you create stress. If you do a run and fast, you create stress or more stress. If you do a run fast, lift weights, you create more stress. If you do all these things chronically while dieting, you may not be able to recover adequately from the stress. You may be a beast and be able to handle this just fine. Week one to three of your diet may not cause an HRV drop but the more fat loss you lose, the more you create stress, which will show in your HRV. This is why exercising like a maniac and eating like a snail rarely works. Once you start to crash your central nervous system, it will create strong hormonal signals for you to rest more and eat more. If acted upon, weight loss will soon become weight gain until the central nervous system recovers and the hormonal drivers begin to shut down. HRV is just a window into your physiology. My advice is to learn and notice patterns in your HRV. Are you not recovering after workouts? Does it now take three days to recover after workout than just two? What supplements help? What foods help? What foods hinder? Is your HRV baseline dropping slowly or quickly dropping? HRV is a balance between stress and rest. You do not need to have a mad cheat day like the rock. A few days at eating at maintenance can do the trick to get you back on course. Meditation, breath work, and avoiding other stressors can also help. Let me know what you think. Is HRV something you check? So, namaste, fist pump. Angus here. Uh, sorry about my monotonous voice reading that for you. You could have silenced that if you want. Uh, not the world's greatest reader, even though I wrote that. Anyway, so I'm going to show you some practical sort of things. So if I keep looking over here, it's because I'm looking at the screen, but I'm going to pop it up here on the screen. So what we have here is from the Whoop. I want to hate the Whoop, but so far I'm absolutely loving the Whoop and I'm loving it more than the Aura Ring and I want to love the Aura Ring more because the form factor is just futuristic and amazing and awesome. And I've kind of explained in this video why. So I did another video on calories where Whoop won and this video is going to be kind of on HRV, heart rate variability, and Whoop has also won this one for me. So Whoop and Aura will kind of give you a readiness score for the day. Those are nice. I think Whoop does it better for athlete type minded person. Um, and Aura, I mean, it does it, it does it great, but I'd rather look at the raw data and see what's happening. So 
this is one part of the raw data, which is just your general overnight number. And Whoop and Aura give me basically the same number within margin of error. So anyway, on to the photo here. So we've got Saturday, my HRV was 150. Sunday, it's dropping. Uh, on Sunday, so that was in, in Sunday. So Sunday, I did a bit of a hard workout. I did a 10K on the bike pretty hard. Then I had some guys in the gym and we did some back and biceps. And then after that, I did a little EMOM with squats, push-ups, TRX rows, and 10 calorie bikes. So every minute on the minute, we did one of those and then we had one minute rest. So you can go as hard as you want on that. It's quite a nice little EMOM because you could have just done that as an AMRAP, which would have been nice. Um, it's quite nice as an EMOM because you get a little break on it. And then once you do, if you really hammer out that 10 calorie, 10 calorie bike, you just don't recover when you get onto the squats, push-ups and rows. Anyway, enough about that. So the next day, I did not recover well for that. So my HRV dropped considerably. I didn't make any sort of changes, didn't do any kind of crazy workouts. My calories are low. Um, I'm on about 700 to 500 calorie deficit, I'm closer to the 700 calorie deficit. So my recovery is like, we got Tuesday recovering, Wednesday recovering, and then it hits a bit of a peak on Thursday. And for some mad reason on the Thursday, I had 1200 calories for the day, two little calories. So my body just went into free fall, two little calories, which is fine because on Friday, I'm going to eat a little bit more food. So even though that recovery score is low, probably not a good day to do workout. Now I'll show you this in the next photo, which is, it's a little bit further on. So we've got um, Friday, Saturday and Sunday on this. So I just want to compare the whoop graph, which is on your right and your aura which is on the left they are showing basically the same numbers but as you can see the aura graph is like really flat and just showing a slight upwards kind of curve um and it's just showing thursday friday um to monday and the aura is showing from not the aura the whoop is showing from tuesday to Monday. but the whoops graph just looks like woo woo which is more inclined to how it was actually feeling so when you've got a high HRV like mine, um, that sort of 100 to 200, it's just like, I want more, I need that graph pulled out. So the Whoop gives me a better graph to have a look at. So let's see what happened here on the graph. So Friday, as we know, was super low, but Friday on the day, I had more calories, but still in the deficit. Saturday, I was probably in a surplus. I'll be kidding myself if I wasn't. So my calories at the moment, or my maintenance calories is 2,200. I know it's super low for a guy of my size and activity level, but my steps at the moment are super low, which is kind of why they're about 500 calories less. My movement is just generally poor. Um, and I have a slower than normal metabolism because I'm lazier than most people. Um, go figure. So if I just base on a number, so I had about 2,500 calories that day. So surplus. So Sunday, although up, wasn't super up because food takes a little while to digest and get into your system and get into all its places. So by Monday, my, my HRV was skyrocketing. Um, and just to put that into relation, I'll add another photo in here. So just uploaded these photos. Um, I'm in two groups. There's the Great Britain group, on the whoop app so comparison is the thief of joy unless you're in the top 10 percent then comparison's awesome and um, so i'm in the great britain group which has 8.5k people and men oh 40 to 50 oh angus i didn't think you were in your 40s you look so young oh my god thank you thank you sorry declined that phone call um and that has 21 K people in it. So let's have a quick look at the GB group. So in the GB group for my HRV, so you can you can single out um, different things. You can go into recovery and you can single out just your HRV. I'm 22nd out of all my peers or all the people in that group in the a in for that day uh, for my HRV. And then also in the group of men 40 to 50, I am... Number five, number five, number five out of 21K people. That's an awesome recovery. So what that kind of tells me is my diet or the idea of having a cheat day or a higher calorie day or a maintenance day is really beneficial for your central nervous system. And then you, if, if 
like as fat loss, fat loss is my main goal this year, you can kind of ride that wave, crash your nerve, central nervous system down, recover, and then you can kind of see how these recoveries are going. Are they going well or are they not going well? And that's just using HRV as a window into your physiology. It's just telling you what your central nervous system is doing, how you're recovering from workouts. And you can use it like that for weight loss, which I don't think a lot of people are talking about. It's just a window. If I have a client and their HRV is in the absolute toilet, it's time for a reverse diet, a time of maintenance, a diet break, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So we can get, we can use all this kind of evidence-based knowledge and all this kind of biohacker knowledge, kind of meet in the middle and make the best program for you. Some people will really handle a diet just extremely well. Maybe they've got the nutrition dialed in. Someone else might go from a kind of junk food diet to a whole foods diet, but they have trouble with some of those whole foods and that's going to cause a crash in their HRV. So then you can start eliminating foods and you can start playing about with diet and you can start figuring out what works for you. Anyway, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below, hit like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. And that's two points to Whoop and zero points to Aura. Although if we're going from form factor, I love the form factor of Aura. So Aura gets one point. So one to two for Aura versus Whoop.